Hello, my cozy chair friends. How's it going? Linnea here with Linnea's Cozy Crafts. Happy Tuesday. I like Tuesdays. Yeah, I like Tuesdays because they're one day before hump day. Just being silly. I like all my days. As long as I'm here above the dirt, I'm good. All right, so we have a couple of new people to welcome to my channel. So let's go to my YouTube bio because I filed them already. I don't know why I did that. So we've got Sherry Anderson, who I missed yesterday. And then we've got, I'm not really sure how you say this, so pardon me if I pronounce it wrong, Queen Josie 68 So welcome. I'm so glad you're here. How did you find me? I always like knowing how you, people find me. If you, if you don't mind. So, yesterday, I didn't get any knitting done at work, but I did when I got home, and I finished the first repeat on the right sock. So now I just have to do those 30 rounds again. Isn't it cute? I just love this pattern. It's so fun. So I'll have that done today at some point in time. I'm hoping I get a little bit of knitting time today at work during nap time. Yesterday I chose to do um, catch up on email. Um, so I went to my doctor yesterday, my cardiologist, and my heart valves are fine. My heart is a good strong muscle. I do have the beginning of heart disease as in plaque in my arteries. Uh, that's 30% blockage, but he said we can visit that again in a year. He has strongly encouraged me to go to or change migrate, whatever, over to a plant-based diet. So I've got my work cut out for me on learning how to get the right proteins in and enough proteins. I'm not going to go vegan. At least that's not my plan. I like my dairy too much. And yes, I know dairy is an inflammatory, but you know, there are just some things I'm willing to put up with. And I have, I have cut some dairy out or decreased, decreased my intake of dairy. So, um, anyway, that was all good news. I don't have to see him again until January like the last weekish of January. So that's pretty good. All right, let's see what else. Um, I have a package here. We could open that. Let's do it. I'll be right back. Okay, we are filming again. All right, so this is darn good yarn. I don't know, I bought bags, but I can't remember what I got. Ooh, that's cute. Oh, this is a fat quarter storage bag. I have so many fat quarters, it's not even a, amusing. Not as much as I have yarn, but I have quite a few fat quarters. So I thought this would be nice to have. Oh my goodness, I should have left the scissors out. That's okay. There we go. So let's take a look at this. Oh, that's nice. That is nice indeed. Okay, well, I thought it was going to have, like, dividers in it, but it doesn't, except for the inside pockets. But that'll work. That will work. That will, that will get them all in one place. Oh, and look at this. Oh, that's cute. So you can put some in there, too, maybe, I guess. Yeah. Oh, I see. And then it's got the clear top. Oh, well, that's very cool. Let's see. It does have two zippers. When it, something has two zippers, I like them to meet in the middle at the front. Just funny that way. Probably my OCD that makes me do that. Oh, that is nice. Yes, I like it. Very nice. And it was a buy one, get one free, I think, if I remember right. I'm not positive. Or half price, or I'm not sure. 
I don't remember. It's been a little bit. Oh, this is cute. Okay. Oh, they don't tell me. Oh, fun. Okay, I forgot about that. Okay, so there's a hand-embroidered flower pouch. And a quilt tie-dyed pouch. This is cute. This is really, this is making cute makeup bag. Or on the bike, when we go, when we go on the bike. That's super cute. I love this. I love this little tassel. Tassel zipper pull. Oh, and it's got another little tag on it, too. That's super cute. Oh, if I can get it. There we go. Oh, that's a nice, sturdy, nice, sturdy um, zipper. It's a nice size. I like that. These are all handmade by women in India. And all the proceeds go to help them be self-sufficient, self-reliant. Ooh, this one's pretty. This one is the embroidered bag. Of course, Jax is down there. Oh, cool. Oh, it's needle punch. Isn't that cute? I do have a needle punch kit, and I've got some needle punch supplies. Uh-oh, that got caught in the zipper. And look at that cute little tassel coordinating with it. That is really cute. Hang on, that another nice sturdy zipper. I highly recommend trying these bags out. They are so cute. That make a nice one for um, embroidery supplies. Cute. And then we have the unicorn. This does not count, by the way, as buying yarn because it's a kit. It's a whole different. Um, we would call it a whole different category on the yarn diet. <laughs> uh, Darn Good Yarn Start Love. It is the... Oh, it's either or. You can either knit or you can crochet it. And it is the Knit and Crochet Starter Kit DIY Unicorn Amigurumi. Isn't that cute? I think I'm going to make that for um, our little neighbor girl. So it's got white yarn, beige yarn, black yarn, stuffing, darning needle, red yarn, orange yarn, yellow yarn, green yarn, blue yarn, and purple yarn. Nice. You just apply either the hook or the knitting needles. Should we open it up? I can figure out how. Oh, there we go. Sometimes these things can be really interesting to get into. I am not an affiliate of uh, Darn Good Yarn, and I'm going to say yet, because I might work towards that. I'm really highly impressed by this company and what Nicole does for the women of India. Okay, and I have some Indian subscribers, too. Sorry, my hair is all over in my face because I took a shower this morning and washed my hair, and... I feel so much better after doing it, but I don't ever put it back right away. So there's the instructions, a pattern. It's so cute. <laughs> oh, it's darling. This one does say crochet. So let's, oh no, it's got the knit too on the inside. This one's the crochet. This one is the knit. I might knit it. I like knitting on the groomies. Let's see what's this. Oh my goodness, they sent the DPNs. That's cool. That is so cool. And look at these darning needles. Oh, and a little crochet hook, too. Look at that. They sent that, too. Wow. So you don't have to supply your own needles or hook. Oh, this is kind of a mess in here, but I'll just kind of... Oh, there's the stuffing. That is so cool. They include the stuffing. Most you have to, you know, provide your own. There's the yarn. Oh, it's nice and soft. Looks to be about a DK weight. Oh, I need to make that video too. That might be... I might do that one Friday. I'm going to do a comparison slash review of yarn um, of DK weight specifically. Here's the beige. 
I'm going to roll these up into little tiny balls. This is ridiculous. And nothing against the company. Don't. It's just ridiculous to me. Okay. Not saying anything bad about them. There's the orange. There's the yellow. Peyton's favorite color. I miss my Peyton so much. God, I miss that little girl. For those of you that do not know who Peyton is, she's our 11-year-old granddaughter. First grandchild in the family. First girl in the family, other than our daughter-in-law. There's the aqua or blue. There's the lime green. That's pretty. The red. It's a nice red. Ooh, matches my shirt. Well, my shirt used to be this color, but it's over a year old, so you know. And there's the, oh boy, there's the black, and here's the purple, for my purple people eater friends. How nice, that is just so stinking cute, I love it. So, if you're interested in buying a darn good yarn kit, I highly recommend doing so pretty nifty. Okay, I'm going to put this all back in here for now. I've got major organizing to do come Friday. Is, ugh, I didn't do it this last Friday. I did some, but not, not near what I need to. Okay, so I think that's everything for today. I showed you my whip. I already announced Connie's giveaway of her pattern. Um... Oh, I did apply for another test crochet with Evergreen Whimsy, which is Mama Lofton at, um, on Ravelry. Uh, the test was over on Yarn Pond, so I applied today for that. So hopefully I'll get it. It's for fingerless mitts. That'll be fun. So I'll let you know if I get that or not. In the meantime, I'm going to get as far on this sock as I can get. All right, until later, folks, probably tomorrow, maybe know that I love each and every single one of you. Ciao for now. Mwah. Mwah.